The Orphan Anon, 1st century BC To be an orphan To be fated To be an orphan How bitter is this lot When my father and mother were alive I used to ride in a carriage With four fine horses But when they both died My brother and sister-in-law sent me out to be a merchant. In the south, I traveled to the Nine Rivers, and in the east, as far as Chi and Lu. At the end of the year, when I came home, I dared not to tell them what I had suffered of the lease and vermin in my head, of the dust in my face and eyes. My brother told me to get ready the dinner. My sister-in-law told me to see after the horses. I was always going up in the hall and running down again to the parlor. My tears fell like rain. In the morning, they sent me to draw water I didn't get back till nightfall. My hands were all sore and I had no shoes. I walked the cold earth, treading on thorns and brambles. As I stopped to pull out the thorns, how bitter my heart was. My tears fell and fell. And I went on sobbing and sobbing. In winter, I have no great coat, nor in summer, thin clothes. It is no pleasure to be alive. I had rather quickly leave the earth and go beneath the yellow springs. The April winds blow and the grass is growing green. In the third month, silkworms and mulberries. In the sixth month, the melon harvest. I went out with the melon cart, and just as I was coming home, the melon cart turned over. The people who came to help me were few, but the people who ate the melons were many. All they left me was the stalks to take home as fast as I could. My brother and sister-in-law were harsh. They asked me all sorts of awful questions. Why does everyone in the village hate me? I want to write a letter and send it to my mother and father under the earth and tell them I can't go on any longer. Living with my brother and sister in love.